It's a car-sized helicopter that is equipped with instruments capable of identifying large organic molecules. The dragonfly is supposed to launch. Once again, stay tech and the cinema, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, don't miss anything for the new videos today, it's Titan's Moon, our topic. Alright, life on Titan Moon. Titan is the largest moon of the planet Saturn and the second largest natural satellite to the solar system. It is the only other known body in space other than us where there could be clear evidence of stable bodies of liquid and usually where there could be water there could be life. Titan is like our moon Luna where it is 50% larger than our Earth's moon and 80% more massive. It, Titan has rain, lakes and oceans but it is not exactly what, is, what you imagine here on Earth. Titan also have various, Titan also have ridges, mountains of which are icy covered deep lakes from viscous winter storms because it's far away from from the sun and it gets one percent of sunlight. Titan is much more colder than us temperatures with the temperatures of negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 170 degrees Celsius. Titan's atmosphere is 98% nitrogen and 2% methane. Seas and lakes are liquid ethane and methane. Its lakes are not liquid at all. With the extremely cold temperatures, ethane and methane behave much like liquid water. However, Titan do have some warmth and may have some or may have warm baked atmosphere. What do we mean by this? Is that organic molecules like recruited by the moon's warm core and care of radioactive movements may warm the moon from within? With all this in mind, it could be possible that Titan may have some form of exotic life forms. And also, science believes that its atmosphere could be perfect laboratory. Study some forms like organic chemistry by providing building blocks for life on Earth. Uh, Depositable organic materials have been found in some parts of Titan, showing proof that this giant moon could host biological interesting compounds such as amino acids which are the building blocks for all living things. Some scientists have regarded Titan as deranged version of Earth and at the same time it resembles if at Earth in many ways before life evolved. Titan Ocean is said to be low thick ice layer and believed to have favorable conditions for life even though we're talking about life that existing in extremely harsh conditions. Uh, we already know some of the forms here on Earth that can survive even in vacuum space and these forms are called tardigrades, can survive negative 3 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperatures are as high as plus 300 zero Fahrenheit. They can survive radiation due to boiling liquids and massive amount of pressure. If this creature can exist in all those harsh conditions, some astrobiologists say because there is lack of liquid water around Titan's surface, life could be existing in the thin seas. If life does not exist on the surface, they also say there could be microbial, very small in size or even single cell organism that existing on the Titan moon. Uh, with NASA, it's planning to land on the surface again. By the way, we have already been to Titan before with the Cassini mission. What most people do not know, on January 14, 2005, Cassini, with its small probe called Hoygens, which made a particular film of two and a half hours descent on the surface, Hoygens landed surrounded by a round box of ice, solar dry remnants of earth and many rivers of methane and ethane we are discovered. The new mission by NASA is called Dragonfly and will be the first of its kind. It's a car-sized helicopter that is equipped with instruments capable of identifying large organic molecules. The Dragonfly is supposed to launch in 2026 and arrive in Titan in the year 2034. When the craft arrives to land near Titan's crater. It will be powered by the heat 
from radioactive protonium much as like mass perseverance rover uh, with its eight rotors it will be able to cover as much more distance than any wood robot ever enhanced the dragonfly will have to move on its own as light signals from us will take 43 minutes to reach titan that will make dragonfly much complicated to operate than a standard drone the drone will use a special navigation system that will help it to identify hazards and avoid them. It will also be able to land autonomously. The dragonfly will sample the atmosphere and be able to take the aerial images of the landscape. It will then fly to multiple locations a thousand miles apart collecting data for the exact destination. At Creator, where scientists say they found evidence of liquid water, organic molecules, and energy that could fuel chemical reactions. There will be, this will be the first mission to be funded as part of NASA's New Frontiers program, which supports medium sized planets, re recent projects that cost less than $1 billion, and Dragonfly will cost $850 million at this, the time of launch. Titan could become warmer in 5 billion years from now when the sun becomes a red giant and starts a helium burning process as our star expands. The outer layers will show the much the Venus and eventually the Earth. But this is this changing sun may provide hope to other planets as moon such as Titan. Surface temperatures on Titan could rise to could, ri could rise to 94 negatively Fahrenheit higher enough for a stable oceans of water ammonium mixtures to exist on its surface as the sun ultraviolet output decreases releasing titan's atmosphere less a green light affecting its surface these conditions together would create an environment agreeable to exotic forms of life and persist for several million of years subscribe to the channel take under cinema for more videos